Japan has ramped up efforts to list dozens of industrial facilities as World Heritage Sites in yet another move that stirred up historical tensions. The Korean government has lodged strong opposition to the move with UNESCO as the site stands as relics of Japan's wartime past. Our Kim Yeonbin reports from Songdo. UNESCO Director General Irina Bokova says nothing has been decided on regarding the 23 industrial sites Japan has registered for the UNESCO World Heritage List. Speaking to press at the World Education Forum in Songdo on Tuesday, Bokova suggested that Korea's concern over Japan's efforts might be better resolved through open talks. Um, I personally have encouraged both sides uh, to engage in a dialogue. Uh, I know that uh, there will be a bilateral meeting uh, between uh, Japan and the Republic of Korea, and I hope that uh, there will be a solution found. Korean Foreign Minister Yoon byung se met with Bokova earlier in the day to convey Seoul's strong opposition to the listing of facilities related to Japan's wartime atrocities. During Japan's colonization of Korea from 1910 to 1945, Tokyo coerced hundreds of thousands of Koreans into slave labor. Roughly 60,000 of them were forced to work at seven of the 23 industrial sites that Japan has put up for World Heritage status. As far as Seoul is concerned, Tokyo's campaign clearly goes against the universal values of UNESCO. The South Korean government plans to appeal the application to UNESCO, hoping to sway voting members before the final decision in Bonn, Germany on June 28th. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News, Songdo.